Dr. Lewis, in your testimony, you discussed the ways that FCC could use auction design to encourage greater participation of underrepresented communities in the wireless industry. So what impact can a strong U.S. spectrum policy have on hiring, retaining, training workers in the wireless industry, particularly as we look to expand and diversify our workforce? Thank you, Senator. Uh, I believe there's a number of ways that it could have an impact, uh, both on the, the hiring and employee side, as well as on the ownership side. Um, on the hiring side, uh, you know, setting standards for, uh, for hiring uh, or contracting with vendors uh, can, can uh, set a high bar for companies that are uh, receiving the public airwaves to, to live up to those sorts of standards on, uh, on the, uh, the structure on the, the, can impact uh, the ownership side uh, in promoting competition. Uh, making sure that we set up auction structures that allow for small women and minority owned businesses to compete in the auctions uh, through smaller license areas or and bidding credits. Um, and honestly, uh, we may not have all the ideas, but uh, uh, I'm interested in finding out what other ideas can be brought forward. I uh, celebrate that uh, Chair Rosenworcel recently reinstated the, uh, the Advisory Committee on Diversity and uh, Digital Empowerment, and, and those are the sorts of, of things that we love to see at the FCC where uh, all stakeholders can, can come together and come up with other tactics to promote diversity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My time is up. Thank you, Senator. Next